guest uh, is an international one, uh, Melissa Romain of uh, the uh, Mozilla advocacy team uh, is going to tell us something about uh, the Mozilla Open Web Fellows program and uh, we're very happy that he's here. Welcome, Melissa. I think. Can you hear me? Yeah? Okay. Um, hi there. Thank you. Uh, as he said, I am Melissa Romain from Mozilla. Um, and I'm here tonight to speak very, very briefly about Mozilla's policy presence in the EU, um, and specifically to introduce you to the Ford Mozilla Open Web Fellows Program. So Mozilla has been expanding its engagement um, in the internet policy space. After the change of play with net neutrality in the United States early last year, we've been looking more globally, right? We need our friends to help us do that. Um, we've grown our policy and advocacy teams and are increasing the topics with which we're engaging. And in fact, last fall, we worked with this community on a campaign to oppose the German data retention law. I'm happy to say we now have a senior policy manager for the European Union, Reagan McDonald, many of you may know her, um, and she is based in Brussels. If you have specific questions regarding Mozilla's presence in the EU, she'd be happy to hear from you. Her Twitter hander, handle is Schmagen, which is awesome. Um, and also, you can check out our open policy and advocacy blog uh, where we share updates and invite comments. Most, most importantly, we invite many comments. So in expanding our EU presence, uh, Mozilla recognized a gap in how technology and policy work together. And one of the ways that we're working to fill this gap is with the Open Web Fellows Program. This is a collaborative and international uh, leadership initiative that brings together technology talent and civil society organizations to advance and protect the open web. The goal, combat threats to, oh, that should say threats, to uh, digital freedom and defend policy that keeps the web open and free. We do this by partnering with strategic civil society organizations and matching them with talented fellows who have technical expertise and really strong development skills, um, like many of you here. As a fellow, you would be embedded at one of these eight organizations. This is for year two. One of these eight organizations for 10 months. You will get a grant to work on a project they have proposed and provide a technical lens to a policy issue uh, and help build open source tools to communicate the issues to a wider audience. So for example, Edry, one of our EU organizations, um, have proposed a project where the fellow could explain existing data collection practices and newly gained online rights to users. Um, the fellow could also help policymakers and regulators understand the tools um, used by online companies for tracking and monitoring. Um, Privacy International, based in the UK, is looking for a fellow who can translate technology to policymakers. Most of these roles involve speaking directly to policymakers, um, both in the US and um, actually in all the countries that we're involved in uh, and the EU. Um, they want somebody who can you know, analyze surveillance documentation and data, identify and analyze new technologies, and help develop education programming with a technical perspective. So each host organization here has proposed uh, different projects that you might work on. Some of them require strong technical skills, uh, like uh, Freedom of the Press Foundation, who are looking for a fellow who can contribute to SecureDrop, their open source tool for whistleblower submissions, and build other open source tools uh, for secure communications between journalists, their sources, and other whistleblowers. Citizen Lab and CIPIT, the Center for Intellectual Property and Information Technology, are looking for fellows with strong tech skills. These would work on network measurement and interferences, corporate and public transparency, and even electoral censorship in various African countries. And then other organizations like Color of Change, Data and Society, Derechos Digitales, are looking for people who can translate these tech topics to make them real for the general public. Again, which includes policymakers and also just the wider audience. These fellows would also build tools, apps, websites, or whatever your talents or preferences are to, to raise awareness amongst the public. And addition, in addition to these projects, the fellows would work with Mozilla and other organizations in the network to continue building and fostering you know, more open source tools for internet policy and advocacy. 
So if this sounds like something you would be interested in, please visit our website. And if you know people who would be interested, uh, please share this opportunity. And if you have any questions, I will be at the bar. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Are you taking applications tonight? <laughs> okay. Okay, website is on, but you're not in person, but you'll stick around and uh, be able to answer questions to people who can come up to you. Okay, great. Um, maybe there's time for one, qu one quick question, if, if there's something very urgent on the Mozilla Open Web Fellowship program. No, great, okay. But Melissa will be here. Thank you. Um,